Hello and welcome back to Bump Love. If you are new here, kindly do subscribe and become part of the ever-growing Bump Love family. This week, we have a chat about domestic responsibilities of the evolving mother and wife. We received a DM from one of our bump lovers who prompted us to delve into this particular discussion. So ladies, what are your thoughts on the roles of a wife and mother going into marriage? <clears throat> so, <laughs> actually, you're the right person to start. Because really I was really looking forward to it. <laughs> so, um, my thoughts on taking care of the home, um, you know, where motherhood and marriage is concerned, is as a wife, you were responsible for taking care of your home. Um, that involved cooking, it involved cleaning, it involved um, just creating an environment that is homely and inviting for the people that live in it, but also for those that are coming to visit you. So in-laws, friends, um, and all manner of visitors. I actually remember in counseling, one of the things that was really emphasized was as a woman, you have to create an environment that is peaceable in your home so that your husband comes home and he finds a clean environment. He doesn't find kids with mucus flowing down their nose and dirty children. Like it, it, it disturbs your husband. <laughs> After facing the world, he wants to come yeah. back home to like yes. a clean space. And I mean, I had no problem doing all of that. Yeah. What was not clear to me <laughs> was the things that happened in between. Because you know when they tell you you're in charge of cooking, that means you need to have a menu, you need to do a shopping list, yeah. you know, go to the market and buy things. And how those things happen and how often they happen is what I later learned in marriage. Um, I didn't understand, or maybe it was lost on me that, you know, when things are finished in the house, it's your responsibility to write a list, depending on who <laughs> manages the finances. Maybe hand it to your husband to go to the market and buy things, or ask him for money so that you can go to the market and buy stuff. Me, I just used to think, uh, we are partners in this thing. And I think that was another thing that confused me. You know, back in the day when our parents got married, there was, first of all, a really huge age gap between dad and mom. Mom, yes. Yeah. So automatically there was that okay, respect. Yes, 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 yes. But now we get married to as if our peers. Mm. Yeah. A few years <laughs> older than me. We've yeah. maybe worked together. So I see you as my... Uh, hey, yeah, hey, you're my gongo. Hey, hey, you're my... Hey, you're, <laughs> you're my buddy. You're my buddy. Hmm. So I remember I used to ask Ben a lot, ah, so what do you want to eat today? And then you'd say, you, you, you decide. Hey. I understand why he's telling me to decide. I want to cook what he wants. Yes. I actually remember one of our like little fights, squabbles in the beginning had to do with milk. In the, when I was growing up, I used to ah uh, mata yes. Okay. Our house had to have milk because my husband takes tea every day. Mm -hmm. I didn't. We didn't even have my card. That milk tea. It has to be milk. He keeps saying at their home they have cows. Anyway, <laughs> and, they and they do yes. <laughs> So, um, growing up, I used to see my dad come home with milk and bread on a daily basis. Yeah. Okay. What I didn't know was that maybe there was a conversation between him and my mother <laughs> where she would inform him that uh, there's, no, there's milk, no milk, so he would oh. have the knowledge to do what? To, to buy. Bring. So one day there is no milk at home. It's about maybe 8, 9 p.m. Ben is like, hey, so are we going to have tea today? I said, but we don't have milk. Then I'm like, why didn't you carry some on your way home from from work and he's like what do you mean how was i supposed to know that there was no milk i'm like men know when <laughs> there's no milk hey, which man comes home how can you come home, home without a cavera of, <laughs> yes of milk and he looked at me and said but babe you tell me and i buy milk that's the way it works yes and no. yes no because i eventually asked my mom and my mom said she she didn't have to tell him all yeah. the time. He it just, just knew a to come home thing. Yeah. with milk, but that was my dad. But then also, I kind of feel like it was the milk then. Mm. It um, wasn't, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't pasteurized. And actually, it was. It and was. it could stay on the shelf for 90 days. You'd have to have a mm. fridge to keep it. So, no. uh, see, nowadays, mm. uh, uh, not the, as nowadays, of our, not the, in our mm. time, at, your at our home, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Home, the, the, milk, the milk was fresh. Oh, fresh, milk. fresh milk. Like if it had to be in these uh, whatevers, mm. first of all, the fridge. <laughs> Poverty is yeah, okay. Poverty is bad. <laughs> 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 Moving on. on. We are projecting 
you you are, you are <laughs> you 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 no, no, no. We had a fridge, bam. Yeah, pasteurized milk. Pasteurized milk, the ones in the yes, in the real car package. I think that it was actually just the way my dad was. It's the way he was conditioned. Like he would just come home with milk and bread. Um, sometimes there used to be a conversation. Most times, no. But I quickly realized, okay, that happened in my house. Now, Rachel, this, this is your house. You have to create all of this stuff. If there's nothing in the house, you have to tell your husband or create a, like a shopping list and go and buy stuff. I actually had a story yesterday of um, uh, two girls who got married, their sisters. One of them gets married and then they grew up in a home where their dad used to wake up every Saturday morning and go to the market to do shopping for the house. Yeah. So they get married and their husbands are not about that life. <laughs> there would be snowing on Saturday morning mm. instead of waking up to go to the market. Mm. And it confused them. They were like, but men are supposed to go to the market yeah. on... Yeah, so for me, upbringing played a lot, but it was so funny how I was not... It was lost on me that, yes, you're in charge of the house, but there are things that happen in between that you are also in charge of. True. And because I liked this thing, I really wanted to have my own house and my own home. Cupboard. I realized, number one, no one is coming to help me. So I need to embrace this motherhood and wife role. And embrace I did and started to create a, a method to the madness that is being a wife. Yeah. It's good you mentioned upbringing. Us mm -hmm. <laughs> who got married young, uh, going into marriage, I, I knew it was a holiday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A holiday from mommy telling you now oh, what are you this. doing sleeping at this oh. time? Oh. Yeah. Uh, you have to watch TV at a certain time. Mm. So for me going into marriage, I knew my role was to look sexy, be, be happy, happy eh. and have a good time. I had found my playmate for life for life. Anything else as in more serious is mm. I was mimicking my mom. Mm. I used to mimic my mom quite a lot. And lucky enough, my person played along with it, much as you could see, be like a bit of confusion. You know, what is this? Mm. That on Saturday, I would stay in bed and I'd be like, babes, when is breakfast coming? Nice. <laughs> and, oh and my gosh. yeah. Yes. And you, it would be like, mm -hmm. call him. But do you know that guy? He he can just trade. W w w okay, yeah. Well, if 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 he found it out of you know, yeah. he somehow knew how to wing it. Mm. But also remember, I was giving him good sex. <laughs> then, yes, ma'am. Yeah. So he would ignore that. You are not so going to the like kitchen. Like so he would be like, she's yeah. not going to cook food, but I'm going to eat food. Uh, <laughs> no, that just until yeah. for Saturday. Like there, you assume yeah. that on Saturdays parents are supposed to yes. do X, Y, mm -hmm. and then I've spoken about my dad. So breakfast in bed was the norm. Mm -hmm. um, washing dishes together was the norm. Laying the bed together. Now that is where he put his foot. Down, down yeah. It told me, Angie, I will not. I'm like, babes, but if you hold that side, I, I hold, hold this side, side. we can uh, lay it fast. Is, yeah, it's faster. Uh, uh, uh. Now, mm. now there he said, and I was sad. Mm. I was like, imagine we can't clear the bed together. Mm. And my mom told me, what it is it? <laughs> Laying the bed. You think every man is going to be like your father? Hey, he's already doing all these other things. So I put my tail in between my thighs mm -hmm. and Started I have bed. laid the bed for many years, <laughs> for over 20 decades. But yeah. going into marriage, me, I knew it was Holy a, day. a good time. He'd allow all my, remember now my friends were in school. He would allow them to come over. We would play. We would generally, yeah, mm -hmm. when, when the shock finally came through, well, yeah, but... For me going into marriage, yeah, I Good expected time. it was fun and games, and it really was. <laughs> anyway, wow, but I don't, I, I shouldn't say wow so much because I kind of feel like to a certain extent that's how I was mm -hmm. going into marriage. Of course, when I entered a whole new a whole world, world. <laughs> that's the <a> real song. <laughs> That's the real song, Kumla. It was a whole new world. Because I told you guys that, you know, I, I, was, I was not raised in a home where both of my parents were there. So my example of 
the role of a mother and father was determined by movies oh. and books. <laughs> and books. Yes. And you know, and your friends who you had family like that. That you could see real life. Yes. <laughs> I said, I went with the books. Yes. I went with the books oh and God. the movies. Uh, yeah. And you know the most unfortunate thing about it is that in the books and the movies, that's where they end. Yes. yes. Yeah. They don't go past. That is it. It stops at it stops at happy the happy days. Days. Happy days. Yes. yes. So for me, by the time I end yes. that, and they don't explain what happily no. after what what it means. Means. They yes. don't. That is where it real ends. So you are left with your own thoughts. <laughs> it's up to you. It's up yeah, to you. you. you to <laughs> how it continues. <laughs> Cultural shock. Ma I, you know how all of you got shocked. Shock. Shock I don't know. I could, I, I, I'm level. still shocked that I'm married. <laughs> I'm still very shocked that I'm married because I, I, to this day, I think, what was I thinking? What were you doing? What was I thinking? Yeah. That life would be, as long as we had love, it wow. was enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was just enough. Yeah. Ah. I shall. <laughs> I don't even want. They are mules and boons. Whoever the sex is great. Yeah. yeah. Ever he has muscles. Yeah. Ever. Flat stomach. Flat stomach. Mm-hmm. Ever you are just ready. Yeah. Ever he looks at her. Ever he looks and at her. And she she <laughs> <laughs> because then after that they give birth to the prettiest, daintiest children <laughs> with the most fun. Yeah. The woman has to to do, to do as a wife yeah. and then as a mother. And I think they should have added home maker because I think that's a, di- it's a, a whole different, different true. thing. True. It's a whole different thing on its own. So true. just know that for me where I was, it was rainbows and daisies yeah. and candy and like when you get married, you have a right. Yeah. <laughs> you have a right. And when you get the one who loves you, yeah. I take at your watch yeah. to see that. Yeah. Like you're just something else. Yeah. 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 I didn't understand how people later get divorced because I I didn't get it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I think every girl deserves that. Deserves what exactly? You enter when because <laughs> shit is going to come <laughs> down. It's going to come out. It eventually <laughs> will. <laughs> so let's so. so it's not the reality. And then yeah. you're going to it's find so yourself reality will a... come, but yeah. at least let's not do two years of like it's going to be hard. It's going like to be hard. Like it's going to be hard life. <laughs> well, not, not that it's going to be hard, but like me, I'll tell you, I've always been of the view from a very young age that um for me, and we've had this discussion before, that there are only two non-interchangeable roles. For me, I knew when you enter marriage, you're in a partnership. You saw Gango, Bade, mm. Bichi, Mai, he has come to save me. But for me, I saw, I've always seen partnership. Mm. So me, partnership was, okay, now there are roles and responsibilities in the home. Yeah. Who's doing what? Correct. So for me, it was always that, like, and nobody's coming to save me. I had watched you, you had no one maybe to model for you, but I had seen the dance yeah. Yeah. being done with my parents, and I always felt that my mom was just doing too much, mm. and I never ever wanted to do that much. So for me, I had always gone in saying the only role that I cannot substitute is, is childbirth and uh, yeah. breastfeeding. Mm. Yeah. So I always said that, so me, since this is my responsibility, and I am going to have children because it's a choice, mm. So what is yours as the man? Because we are two people here. Yeah. So what is yours that can be of almost equal value? Yeah? So equal I mean? weight to what to for me is to my childbirth and breastfeeding. Provision mm. in the home. Mm. Let finances be you and you provide bare minimum basic needs. Food, clothing, rent, shelter, shelter, security. Yeah. Re- yeah, pay the rent. That is you, utilities. Then after that, we can do whatever we everything want else. and everything else is like for me homemaker for sure i always knew that yeah and it wasn't that the responsibility was on the woman it's always that i, I don't mind doing it because the man i married actually liked to do things, do things which around. disturbed me yeah. also <laughs> I, me, I love to cook yeah. so with cooking if i love to cook then i want to be in charge of everything that comes with cooking mm. i have to do market shopping i cannot be with a man you guys who wants to go to the market I see, so, see, I can't. A man who wants to go to the supermarket, I can't. 
they are going to bring things home that are wrong. That, yes, wrong brand, I have pa uh, I have brands. I have brands. Mm -mm, I don't have time to teach. I have brands that I like. I I know I know the particular places. And maybe sometimes those places might be a little bit more expensive, so him he wants to go somewhere else that is, cheap. That is maybe cheaper. But the product, when it comes, it's not the same. It, it still comes with usoto, mm. you know. <laughs> the greens still come very dirty. Maybe where I show things yeah. come clean, washed, cut. Washed, yeah. But for you, maybe you want because maybe you're trying to save money. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you feel, or maybe you feel that's your way of supporting me and helping me. That Bambi Pumla cook. Let me go to the market. No. You find now something else that you're competent at. Iron clothes. You like iron ink? Do it. You do it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so what are the... Me, it was always, what are the different roles that we have? Yeah. And what me, what do I like? Me, I already know what I like doing. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I'm the one who wants... The, the, the sitting room has to be arranged. Yeah. It's, it comes to me naturally. Yeah. Maybe to because I saw it from my mom. Mm -hmm. To have it arranged. But I would expect my husband also to lay the bed if he got out. Yeah. Yeah. If I went to work before him mm. and I left, I expect to come back and find that bed late. Bed late. And then everything that both of us really don't like to do, may we pay somebody I else to do to it? To do it. True. Yeah. So me, that was always my ideology. Anyway, my ideology landed me unmarried. But <laughs> No, no, that wasn't the reason. It definitely was not the reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. But, yeah, but people like to joke that. You know, you see those that those ideologies of yours, that head of yours that keeps thinking, thinking. <laughs> it is the one that, that brought problems. Into trouble. <laughs> yeah, but me, that's what I always thought, guys, about roles and responsibilities, and mostly because I always thought that my mother was just doing too much. Yeah. My father sat and almost did nothing. But maybe she. Did. But he brought. Oh, she did. But yeah. also then. Mm. My dad provided a hundred percent. That's also true. true. Yeah, yeah true. Their roles, their roles were very defined. Were very defined. defined. Yeah. So hers was entirely nature, take care, and everything. My mom didn't spend a queen. You said and for so. me, I always knew. Okay, and I actually let me be honest. Something that brought trouble in the home in the beginning was now that provision because I had seen my dad do everything. I also expected yeah. that he would also do everything, everything yeah. which kind of brought also problems. I realized quickly, eh, but I don't like all this housework. So it's okay, maybe I can tap into my own resources so and that we can do that balance and get someone balance, else to do some, to to do some, some of balance. those things. Yeah. True. I, also, I also realized that in many instances, because as a child you're home with mom, you see a lot of what she does. Mm. That you're not at home, that your dad is uh, having some, I mean at work, at work, where your dad has deadlines to go to or yeah. whatever presentations to make, which might be stressful to him. Which I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but why would you not let me? I mean, <laughs> because muffin vis a vis a presentation in a boardroom. Anyway, but that depends one on one, one is hard work. Exactly. There's someone who'd say I will mop your house. Yeah. Some manual people are more gifted labor. in manual labor. Manual labor versus I have a friend, you guys. Labor. The girl likes doing housework. Mm. She likes to mop. I will find her there and mm. she's like this, like this. But you send her just to count the bill at a dinner table. She will come send it to me. Please like the things that for, are for thinking, yeah. over reasoning. They disturb her, yeah. but she wants. Now for me, I am the reverse. Yeah. I cannot bend you. <laughs> you know that car quick mop that came, okay. that car nice mop that yeah. just like this. It was made for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I can't bend to him. So that girl, you will find her in corners. She gets things, but and why are you suffering? But that's what she likes. That's what she. It's not suffering. Yeah. But do you know what? Absolutely. What I think is um, um, of. What is inspiring the cleaning? Because yeah. I feel like I'm very much like that. But I think for me, it's the <laughs> end goal. Rachel. It's like sitting down and looking at ah, my house. And you're like, like wow, so where are the oh. visitors? It's so visually stimulating. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Please come and visit yeah, me. When you're okay. tired. Even when I'm it's tired, okay. yeah. I get bursts of energy and I do stuff. Yeah. Like, wow. And, and it so the end justifies the man. Exactly. Yeah. The end justifies the man. Yeah. 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 So that's why I would find every other and yet I don't have a maid, yeah. but I am the lazy. That's why I will always find every tool, tool, tool to, help. to help to help you. Make sure. Has your automated like motor cleaning, uh, uh, cleaning uh, good uh, arrived? Yeah, because I cleaned the house in less than 10 minutes. The whole house! Yes! yes. 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 I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I like and it. We should, we should and look I, into and that. And it's, it's, yeah, yeah. I don't like cleaning but I don't, at all. I also don't like When it. I got this machine, so I was like, Manuela, I need this. Me, yeah. even with machines this. with tools, I don't want. You, you don't, don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I learned how to clean by the carpets when I vacuum. 
So don't <laughs> think that I was always exposed to this bad life, but even that I didn't like. These were things of steamers getting the... the mm. I don't... I just don't like to... Like, I want a clean place, but I don't want to... Don't do it, yeah. I want yeah. to just arrange. Yeah. Ah. Not to mop, to sweep, to <laughs> cobwebs, to dust. Yeah. No. Now that you mentioned that <laughs> bad life, um, I'll read, I'll read um, the message that we received. So, oh, hey, yes. hey, bump lovers, please keep me anonymous. We always do. Mm -hmm. um, I love you ladies so much and thank you for the show. Oh, we love you. You're most welcome. We you. How do you handle motherhood and wife chores? Someone told me one shouldn't give one's husband or baby clothes to the maid to wash. What is the job of the maid? Okay. The maid should only wash utensils and mop the house. I feel it's too much for me, especially since I have a terrible backache I got from the C-section spinal needle. Please help. By the way, women who are watching come from different statuses. Some of us cannot afford washing machines or the hate HOT, the hot tool, even if we would want to. So we use the advice you give us to incorporate it into our lifestyle. So I think basically she's asking for solutions or ways to work things out on different levels. Yeah. You know, there's we, maybe we speak washing machine, but also we need to go yeah. all the way down the way to our as our viewers. Yes, or to our So, ladies, can we speak about this balance? You know, being a mother, wife chores, your responsibilities yeah. at the office, and offer some useful advice that speaks to the different ranges of of lifestyles. Yeah. So, I, I when I read this message, I recognize that we all have different home dynamics. Mm -hmm. What works for Angie may not necessarily work for me mm -hmm. and vice versa. Um, it also depends on your dynamic as a couple. Mm -hmm. I know of men who are okay with the maid doing everything mm -hmm. in the house, but maybe would like that like, their person or their wife, madam, maybe takes care of his meal. Yeah, yeah? yeah. there are men who are specific about things like that. And yet there, then there are men who just just do your thing. I just want to come home and find a, like a clean house and like a home functioning properly. So what I typically do in trying to balance my roles is just to get organized. Get organized and in getting organized, you can do an audit of your house and realize, okay, where do I need help? Number one, what are the chores that need to be done? How often do they need to be done? Yeah. And where can I find help for these roles? You've mentioned that you have a, um, an issue with your back. I see absolutely no problem with the maid washing the, the, the maid's clothes, or rather the baby's clothes. I see no problem with her washing your husband's clothes. Maybe not his undergarments, that one you might want to keep for yourself because that's private. Um, but you can allocate those things to her and create some sort of schedule where she's also not overwhelmed because if she gets overwhelmed, she's going to leave. Yeah. yeah? So create that children. Then you have a baby. Uh, and then you have the entire house, you obviously can't do the, the heavy lifting. My approach is do an audit of your house. What are the things that need to get done? Mm -hmm. And then use that audit to plug the holes, like where can I find help um, in terms of maybe getting a maid? If you can afford to maybe find someone who can do just the laundry, come maybe twice a week or three times a week to do laundry. I know when you have a baby, the laundry can be a lot. Um, yes. Find the cleaning lady, those ones usually Either they can take like a monthly salary or you pay them weekly, again, yeah. depending on your, your financial sure. comfort. Yes. Uh, and then allow the maid maybe to take care of everything to do with the child. Yeah. But now you need to know what everything looks like so okay. that you can advise her in order to help you. Yeah. Um, so for me, I think that would be the best way to do and i do a lot of research on youtube like i look at mm -hmm. moms who are taking care of like say five children how yes. do they organize their lives yes. you have to wake up at a certain time so it can't be business as usual and i yeah. think that's what confuses wives many times you go in thinking oh this is a new life mm -hmm. this is oh i have a baby now like I, I am going to do the same thing that i used to do which can't happen mm -hmm. so just acknowledge and recognize that your life has changed yeah um do as much research the same way you do research for your job I don't know. I'm very yeah. passionate about homemaking. <laughs> <laughs> so I do a yeah, lot of YouTube videos. Yeah. I read a lot of articles. Okay. I see how other people are doing it. I'm like, if a mom of oh, five nice. can do it, why, why tell me of one. one. And it's good you've yeah. mentioned YouTube because um, <clears throat> I'm now trying to understand social media and everything. Yeah. But 
there's something for everyone. Oh, yeah. Yes, there You know, is. someone's like, oh, you know those, maybe YouTube, they might say, oh, YouTube, yeah, but gaga. No. No. There's TikTok for the one who earns 5,000 yes. and the one that earns 5 million shillings. Yeah. Yeah. There are YouTube videos that if you look through them, you will find one that hits the right oh, spot. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah. 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 so you have to make true. the time. You have I to make the time. I saw somewhere when I was doing my research, long ago, mm. those days, that for every child you have, you wake up one earlier, one year, one hour one earlier, earlier yeah. than you used to. Eh, like when when you me and Rosette will wake yeah. up at two. Eh, eh. I, beg you, I, I beg your pardon. <laughs> but, so I I remember this based on what she what said that you know things can't go. You can't. Way. Yeah, it's not the same. It's not business as usual. Yeah. And I remember that statement. Um, it was written someone, someone's blog. She said she realized that for every child that she had, she had to wake up one hour mm. earlier. Mm. So if you wake up at, if you usually wake up mm. at seven, six, at yeah. by two children you're at four a.m. Four a.m. I yes. found that interesting, but yeah. based on what you've just yeah. shared. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Then <laughs> I sacrifice my hour of sleep. Because my whole hour. My whole hour. Sleep. Because. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so and I, I it's interesting that she actually wrote about the hot, the home organization. Please don't tool. talk about hot. No, I'm not going to talk about hot. Yeah, I should. Yeah, talk now about what should hot. I do? Talk anyway, about hot. I will hot. talk about hot. Oh, oh yes. the user. Yes. <laughs> no, but um, in particular, like what, like I've had moments like with my friends who come and say, "You come over and we see what's at my home," yeah. because this fort is not working. Not working yeah. So I'll go into okay. their home and I'll realize the first issue that most of us have in our home is clutter. 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 Yeah. My mm. good lord. Mm. Someone has buffet under the table, mm. under the chair. When and will you for clean? Shopping, it's for shopping. Yeah. When will you, when will you clean? <laughs> You understand what I mean? Mm. When will you clean that up? We have things in our homes that, that we don't need. We, not, we don't need, yeah. or we've not used it. Maybe we need it, but we've not used it, meaning it's really not useful for us at that time. And you guys, our clutter is so much. I don't know, and I'm telling you, I might tell you, you guys go back to your homes, into your cup boards, <laughs> and I tell you to look, and I tell you, you're going to say, no, this one I need. That's what they this one, and that's what you say. always say, and I'm telling you, as long as that's what you're keeping in your heart, mm. that I will always need, mm. your home will never, ever be in a place where you feel like, yes. One of the things, and I'm sharing this because of my experience with my mom, when there was no money at all, mm. couldn't even afford a house girl. Mm. My mom always made sure that if she sat here, she can see under that chair. Mm. Yes. Because that's the only way you will keep that place. Clean. Clean. Yeah. If you if why do you need six six duvets? You just need two sets of bed sheets. I used to say this thing mm. alone. You just need two sets. That when one is drying, you one use is another one. one. Yeah. But you don't need six pairs. Mm. Because then they are taking up so much space. So much space. space. Okay. Mm. And then they are calling ah, yes. Angie. <laughs> no, and I'm talking especially not about these people who you can afford to change. You get. But I'm talking about and she told us yeah, to true, to true, to be true. mindful. And I'm mm. telling you for me what yes. my mom did. Yes. Our clothes, we have we had ten sets of clothes. Ten sets means Ten sets, like ten outfits. Ten outfits. Mm. Yeah, like yeah, like seven days in a week. Then mm. there's like some three extra. Three extra. Some extra. You understand? Mm. But surely, by the time the seven days are done, so you can imagine how small our wardrobes were. Yeah. Mm. Like our clothes were so clean. very easy to clean. In fact, the day I remember there was a time we were chased out of our house at about midnight. We could carry things. You and mm. we packed. Up. You could pack up and go. You understand? In the middle of the night, pack, put mattress, what? Move. Mm. Oh, that was the good. The one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know in that. Uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, at that time. You never know any time. Yeah. We, 
we had just those few clothes. Why do you need all pairs of shoes? Yeah. Just need one school shoe and one sandy. So when you realize that when your sure. things are so much fewer, yeah. you have less need for to fill up the space in your house with yeah. cupboards, which then make cleaning difficult. Yeah. You don't need a bigger house. You just need a house that is enough to. Because I remember we used to stay in a two-room house mm. not two bedrooms not two, two bedrooms room. two, two rooms, rooms. Yes. the sitting room and, and the bedroom. bedroom and my mom would say uh, and would ha we had only one mattress yes. one six one six by six, six. by six mm. why have until we are four four five <laughs> two by three by two mm. why so she would say no let's have just one six by 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 six all of us sleep mm. <laughs> in, in, and, that, and by the way people too. always ask me and people like have look they are so nosy mm. every time you speak about things like that people ask me but pumla i think manuela just speaks that kb for for, for the views show. for that yeah. show yeah. let me tell you yeah. it's true mm. yeah. it's true this yeah. is how they there are people who Who's, have who, who have, have come yeah. have from the rugs yeah. from yeah. deep there and they are seated here with us we are all the same now yeah. true. So no, no, we are yeah, the playing right. field has so been for you, you don't think that it is possible because you already had a silver spoon maybe in your mouth mm, as you were growing when up. You, were growing you don't up. realize that there are people who have been suffering for yeah. a while, but through perseverance, hard work, effort, they have risen and they, they have risen and or climbed there the those stairs. Who did not, um, well, not mostly comes from people who were not born with silver spoons, but you spend more time, eh, mama. Yeah, mm -hmm. which can be sad because then it's hard for you to come out of that. Space. Of, of a, it's, it's, these are real conversations, real, conversations. Yeah. real true, and not for views, not for that show. No, yeah. we are here giving our honest truths of who. Who we were and mm. who we are. But yeah. anyway, it's a reality. But, and, even, and the good thing is, even if you check with my brothers, mm. our stories are exactly the same. The same. same. We used to wash clothes. Like my mom would tell us, after you've come back from wherever, until you have seven clothes, mm. you better wash. wash. Mm. Immediately you finish, you wash. Mm. You understand? Can you get it that way? How? Hey, you don't want to wash. How? <laughs> How? Because you would suffer with this. Yes. But do you now realize that we only had one pair of bed sheets to wash? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that makes it a whole lot easier. So that easier. made it a whole lot easier. Yeah. True. Me and my mom struggle with backache. Mm. So not that did we ever wash bending. We would wash seating. Yes. Oh, you'd sit. Sit. Yes, yeah, you will sit and you lift and the back. Okay, change. You are, no, okay. you're washing okay. from here. Okay. You know, even if you put it. But like, poverty, I, go, I was going I to say, you have it like this. <laughs> and I couldn't open you. the legs. <laughs> but you <laughs> open it. Okay. Then you, for you put the bucket uh, here. Bucket a bit here. here in front. Me, I come here. So you put the bucket here in the middle. squeeze it. Hey. And you hold it in your legs. Yes, you hold it with your legs. And you wash. Wow. Me the time I used to see my mom, she would put That's it on like a some stool. Sometimes. <laughs> <Some time. laughs> yeah. Only one way to know. Ask eh? Mr. Blonde. How is that? is not fine. Pumla is not fine. <laughs> She's not fine. <laughs> so I think for me, I found that that was a... The my mom taught us that yeah. in terms of how to stay. Clean. And my mom okay. is very clean, very organized. But I saw her do it even when we were going through the hardest. We have a mwala right in front of us. It's the one that you jump. But she would be cleaning. Meanwhile, you're what? And, and it's, it's for you to be very clever about some of these things. You would enter, let's say there are four houses. What are those? What do they Mizigo. call them? Those mizigos. My mom would always get the house at the end, at the beginning. Because when people are sweeping, they remain, your thing remains dirty. Mm. So when she's choosing which muzigo to go to, she would pick the one where the dirt doesn't reach her. Mm. You understand? You have so to be clever have about to be this. Very, very creative. Clever, mm. very, very creative. Yeah. Yeah. But lessen that number of things that you, you have. have. You mm. leave this social media, Instagram shopping, you leave it alone. Yeah. They're Outside also just showing. Yes. Yeah. Just say, what exactly do, do I need? The truth mm. is, you don't need a hundred buveda. You shop only once a week. You just yeah. need one, two buveda. Mm. One for that week and the one for the, the week. Following because week. the week before, they the things might still be. Yeah. It's true. And then that's what you use. Manange, please be very 
you might that's the one thing i learned to be clean just reduce the declutter declutter, mm. declutter the number of things declutter that you have that's that that you that's have. so true mm. yeah. now that you mentioned muzigo for our in, international audience yes, yes. Is, um the a modern day studio apartment but yes. we're now talking about the dingy one yes <laughs> <laughs> without a ceiling with one window one window yes mm -hmm. then no voila, is that open sewage yeah <laughs> sewer <laughs> isn't it yeah. like you are yes yeah. that's right yeah. um i would say this first of all um it's good you mentioned hot hot was built was created by a chick who grew up in poverty mm. no jokes mm. so it was built for the poor person <laughs> well <laughs> Yeah, it is true. It's the truth. Yeah. It's true. Mm. It's it is the truth. True. Because if yeah. you have money, you can have all these people doing things, doing things for you. Yeah, and you know, so mm. it was built by a poor person yes. for poor people or a poor a person yeah. who grew up in poverty. Yeah to help those who are in that situation right mm, now. Yeah. That's point number one. Point number two, by the time like <laughs> hot, which is a menu, <laughs> which is like a menu app, it doesn't apply to me at the moment mm. that much because now, the, of course, the children are grown older. And by the time it came, we had already set, our, we, we have our systems and they work. Oh, yes, you do. But um, because of APPG, I was able to look at some of these things and, and really think about them mm. people say that hot is for the rich what is how much isn't it 15 50,000 50, 50, mm. right if you got 50,000 and with this hot tool you're receiving menus for 365 days Pumla <laughs> mathematics if you got 50,000 and divided it by 365 days how much is that how much would it be Per day. day. Mm. 136 Uganda shillings. 136 Uganda shillings. Now, this is 100 for example, 100 shillings. Uh -huh. now, 100 imagine shillings. Maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago, I have young children. In dollars. I'm trying to 0 0.04 dollars. dollars. Yes. Not, a, not even one dollar. Not even one dollar. Right. And the poverty line is under one dollar. Mm. Yeah. So, so we're yeah. not even poor, mm. as in. <laughs> Yeah. You don't need to be. You don't need to be. You don't need to have a job <laughs> to be right? able to, to afford, afford it. That yeah. what, the tool, right? Mm. So if you get that zero point zero zero four kadola, mm -hmm. you're in a meeting. Kusait tends to namakutoka. The boy is on the truck. Haji's truck has stopped somewhere. Police has caught it. The client is calling. The bride is crying. Bouquets are coming. Yes. Flowers are stuck in booths here. Yeah. <laughs> right? Oh, yes, yes, like we have some people who are coming through. I need you to be ready at 7 yes. p.m. And I sent also a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Then. I am at work and my maid is calling me to find Madam Leda to what are we going to make for dinner yeah. today? Yeah. The possibility That's of either speaking <laughs> but why don't you plan these things mm. in advance is so high. Things like this are taking away from who you are. Yeah. You know, you are spending five minutes on the phone. I don't know whether it's MTN or Airtel, we'll not speak uh, companies, but how much money are you spending on a phone conversation yeah. Yeah. that you could easily have sorted by just having a menu up there? Madam, look at the menu. Yeah. Yeah. And that is it. Yeah. So let's not try and associate things. As I said, this is my year of, of working on my finances. So I really, really look at these things so much. You speak of a washing machine. Mm. I know the price of a washing machine, okay. the cheap one. It's one million. The yeah. cheap one. Mm. The cheap, the cheap one. one. Mm. Right? Does it do the job? It does, does it do the job? Mm. It absolutely does. What does this do? Once again, you get your one million shillings divided by like 365 amazing. days. Yes. How much are you paying per day? Yeah. Yes. I think it's 54. And you're not even adding, there's also price costing in time, in convenience, yes. in peace of you're mind. Peace of mind. Yeah. not even had. There even, there's even this, there's a, there's a, um, there's a, uh, what do you call it? There's a page, Declutter Uganda or something oh. like that, yes. where you can buy second hand oh. washing oh. machines. Actually, it's 2,000. 
700 per day. Per day. To get 1 million to buy a washing, washing machine. machine. We are still per below day. the poverty line. Yeah. <laughs> but when we spend most time on TikTok, you people, I got onto TikTok. TikTok, it's all your MBs in yes, two seconds. Does. So it if does. you're spending 5,000, 10,000 yes. shillings on or TikTok, data. how about you just on data, sorry, why don't you just put this money aside and yeah. buy this so called. Yeah. Rich people's mm. gadget, yeah. right? Like Can I take you something yeah. Yes, prioritizing. Yeah. I remember. So I've I've shared before that we don't have a maid. Yeah. But I get that amount of money mm. that's for the maid, and I keep it because somebody's a maid, obviously. Yeah, we know. Yeah. We know. We know. So who's that maid? Of that course, you. Is. So <laughs> remove the money. <laughs> Because if you had a maid, you'd be paying them. You remove the money. And if you put that money together, mm. it can do a lot. A lot. It can Absolutely. do Fregamba, a lot. you are paying yourself. I'm paying myself, <laughs> of course. But I'm paying You're myself to then purchase things yeah. which make my life easier. Why am I cutting tomatoes and onions? I hear you. Yet they are choppers. I you just do like you. Grrr, I it chops you. tomatoes. Yeah. Grrr, it chops Those onions. Things are not cheap, are not expensive, you guys. Yes, China came. <laughs> <laughs> and when you really, really think about it, so I'll, I'll say this, um, being with these ladies have taught me quite a lot of things, but I, I, I will head back to Pumla, is that we need to stop finding excuses for ourselves. Yeah. You know, wake up, make a decision, and decide that you know mm -hmm. what, this year, even to be occupied down, you're like, no, I will get the washing machine. Set you. that aside. So you have I 10 problems. That. I just fixed one with the hot, another one with the washing okay, machine. Okay. Now, the rest, try and do the rest. The rest. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. And many of these things, by the way, are not expensive. It's just that we look at them in the initial cost at the time, yeah. yes. but we don't think about long the long term. Yes, and and they are they are true the worth the value benefit. and the non-monetary benefits. If you put all those things together, you'll be shocked. Now, for me, it's more. I, I think I would rather at this point speak to the woman who has not yet been married, mm. and so I I think honestly. So they are telling you how to do the balancing act. For me, I'm always about conversations. Me, I'm not, I'm not doing these things mm. if I don't want to do them. And if I feel that I married an equal partner in my home, or if I'm going to marry an equal partner in my home, I need to have a conversation with him. Yeah. That society has decided that women will do all that work. Mm. But can we have a discussion and decide for ourselves sure. what is okay for us in this home? In this home? Mm. And if I find that you are still stuck in your traditional roots of gender roles before we get married yeah i leave it or at least oh, you it's know a deal breaker. no i leave it but if i choose to take it i know yeah i know what i'm taking on yeah. so that now when you're in the home you're not quarreling that that man that man yeah. you had you the conversation before, before. and he told you that for me i can't boil an egg <laughs> i can't cook what i can't cook i can't so I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, you put, your, put a baby on my back. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. So for me, I think that conversation is most important at the beginning, but it's never too late to have the conversation. Because even that conversation is theory. When yeah. you enter in the marriage, yeah. in the real yeah. home, yeah. things can change and go anywhere. Yeah. Sure. But then so you true. have a reference point of the conversation, which you can say, you know what, this is what we decided. And I, I, for me, my belief is that, it's not the woman who has to do that work. No. I feel that it is the more competent person who can do mm. the work. I, I, there is, the society has ingrained a terrible belief in us of male incompetence in the home. Mm. What that does, it disempowers the men, but it also doesn't serve us as the women. Mm. Yeah. There is, it actually was estimated that Women in the UK, now we're even talking developed country. Now first leave us Africa. We're in a developed country where things are supposed to be as if balanced. Mm -hmm. But women take an extra three hours every week doing things, redoing things that their husbands yeah, already did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we, yeah, because we have a thing in our minds that I want to do this. Me, like see what I said earlier, me, I want to do the shopping because I am, it is, I have brands, I have things. When you send the man out, you're going He's to go going back. To He's not going to do it the way you want it. <laughs> now you're going to go back to the market. Yeah. To oh, the wow. supermarket. Yeah. Yeah. To do what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of allowing and saying, okay, no. You train. Train the man. Yeah. There. And you know, someone train actually told me sometime man. that uh, when you say that word train the man, it's like I'm a dog. Yeah. It's like you're training a dog. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? Yeah. Hold on. 
But you can so I, I feel that instead of looking at what society has decided that men and women will do, you can discuss as a couple, have a conversation. Yeah. What me is can I do? I don't like to iron. I can iron, I don't mind it. My real issue is mopping. And I come and tell you, my real issue in life is cleaning, mopping. I want a beautiful house. For you, is it a problem for you? Yeah. Do the done work. Yeah. Yep. It is not a gender role per se, but that is what you're competent. Again, I use the word competent. competent. Yes. If you're not providing financials and putting your money together for you as a unit, please then have your share. Well, do something do? that is yours. Yeah. And if you're going to get somebody to do it, be the one to pay them. Uh -huh. Because yeah. that is your role. Responsibility. Yes. That is your responsibility. Yes. Ate, don't make the man who is providing also pay, pay for, for somebody who is doing your, 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 your and your also and the nanny also share. because you also me if I'm more competent to man. wake up in the night to look, be with my baby. Every night you don't have to take turns. Mm. It's not a must. Imagine that because we are mother and father, we both have to wake up. No, if you feel that for me, I'm the one better at waking up. But Puma, you mentioned the word competence. That's you do means. know yeah. that there are ladies who are, are not okay. They are not the breadwinner of the family. Yeah. And even these other things that they are that they would yeah. be doing, they are not competent they, at no. them. Yeah. So yeah. I, when yeah. you say competent, yeah. learn. Like you know, the, Puma no says, learn. This one yeah. is not yeah. competent. Yeah. Let me more tell you, bro. You're you never stagnant. You can learn how to do anything. You can, and make, it you can learn and to make it your competence. I think competence that, 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 can that be was... innate, but competence can yeah. also be grown. You, you can, can be grown. grown. You can, it can be learned. Yeah. True. Yes. I know that you're saying. It can it. Be I, I'm glad that you brought this up. Because now when I think home. about it, Brian does a much better job at home than I do. I do. But... He provides. He provides. Mm. So do I have an opportunity? You learn. Yeah. You do yeah, know. You I have to yeah. become better. Yeah. Yeah. You either have to learn or to find a, a means to pay for somebody to do that job for, for you. Yeah. yeah. Sure. And, and maybe. I, and then I just think, just have a conversation. Have a conversation. Have a conversation. Absolutely. Yeah. And you might be knee deep into your marriage and you've had a conversation and your husband has told you he's not going to do anything. Yeah. I think that is not the point where you say, I'm out of this marriage. And I feel like most women now get frustrated and it's like, this man is not helping me. I know because I have been there. I yeah. used to beg my husband to help me do dishes. Yeah. Actually, remember, we, and it were just the two of us. Yeah, We'd had breakfast. Yeah. There were like, what, two cups and I think two plates. And I asked my husband to do the dishes. Mm -hmm. Not because I couldn't. I was still in this car. He should help me. Let yes. us partner. Yes. Yeah. And my husband told me, I don't want to wash dishes. Why don't you get somebody to wash the dishes? I'm like, so you want me to hire someone to wash four two cups and two plates. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like when you have gotten to that stalemate, embrace this role. Yeah. Embracing it doesn't mean that you have to do everything. Mm -hmm. You can hire help. Mm -hmm. And I find that, I, I don't know if I'm misspeaking, but I mm -hmm. feel like most men, especially the ones who don't want to do anything, I'm not saying you break your back. Me, I just want to see my woman because she's working. <laughs> no. As if I were mothers. You know, like it's, it's like I just want I a clean home. I want a home that is functioning. Yeah. So whatever it takes, and I remember Ben used to tell me a lot, can we hire help? Like so that can we, we, we don't, this thing is coming in between us and I don't understand why. Now me, I was, I was very opposed to hiring help because I really wanted him to help. Oh, you no, see, I was oh, like, I was offside the goal. Yes. The goal is to have a house that is functioning. Yeah. And but you know, there's a thing that we need like to do this together. Yeah. And then she also mentioned the story about maids. So in the movies oh, also. Movies. Yeah, she mm. mentioned the maid story and I'll tell you this. Me, I've been doing this for over two decades. Mm. And the thing is, you, you, you don't get a car to use a border border. Say so that again, say so that again. Yeah. You don't buy a car to use, to use a border border. Right? So you don't have a maid mm. for the maid not to do what she is She's there for. The, yes, Forget what yes. the neighbor is saying. Mm. Let the neighbor's maid not do what they are doing. As I said, this is a conversation between the two of you. Yeah. So long as your spouse is okay utilizing the maid, which is the car, don't now border border and start mm. doing it yourself. Yeah. Yes. There, is, there is no point. At yeah. the end of the day, you end up frustrated. Yeah. Then you start those things of, Afazali, let's do them together. Yeah. But why? And you know, it's about a society thing because we, are, as we are at this level, as where we work, our conversations at, at the lunch table and our cafeteria at work, I'll carry that man, how can you allow to wash? But you first be truthful to yourself. Think about if it, is it, how important is it to your man for you to be the one to wash? 
and not the maid. Yes. How important is it? And then also, be honest with yourself. What does it take away from? Is it taking too much? Too much. Be yes. honest. Remove, close off the noise mm, of what yeah, the modern the woman mm. has, has said, has yes. decided yeah. that no pay are made. You have an honest conversation and say, now mingo, I've told you before, I've not washed clothes in years, mm. but I wash my own underwear. Yes. So if a man was to just put in underwear on top of, in with mine, What's wrong with that? It's like eating Does two sumbosa instead of me? one. I think <laughs> I that there. And, and, I you, and you put Manuela's method at play. Please don't have 20 boxers. Thank what? You. For what? Oh, by the way. Seven. By seven. The, what, what is breaking you maybe is the fact that you are. Yeah. Tell you the, yeah. Uh, yeah. I tell, I tell for Valentine's Day and Christmas, you're the one buying those boxers. True. And buying socks. True. Now there are many. There are now many you things. have to wash to them. Wash them. <laughs> buying those gifts. Yeah. <laughs> Let him have enough. Yeah. If you're doing too much because there is too much in the house to do, yeah. which you have given yourself. You've created yourself. Tell you, I find men's underwear so much easier to wash. You know why? There is no monthly yeah. body to look out for. Yeah. There is no discharge. Discharge, yeah. yes. To look out yeah. for. Yes. As in the boxer, just, just. Mm. And yeah. now that we are speaking about boxers, please make sure you wash your boxers. Then you soak them in a little. There's that downy, the brown one. Oh. <laughs> it smells like heaven. <laughs> yes. Then you dry them, you press them, and fold them just ready for him. Zero it's such a small done. act, but it's speaks volumes you guys it speaks volumes. volumes and imagine no one is in your home like no one is going to be there saying oh Kale, you are even less of a woman now uh, no one you women yeah. i tell you be there in your homes you do these things for your men then you come to social then media you and you tell us and tell not to and way. break other <laughs> people's marriages <laughs> yes, yes, it's working it's working how do you do it how do you do it no, for us we have a conversation <laughs> the guy segment one of the uh, guests presented the views of some of the men that chooses our partners the traditional man who will not help out where domestic chores are involved how can a young wife like maybe the anonymous navigate such a scenario yeah. i'll leave the married women to talk because for me i'm a firm believer in you choose your partner you carry your migugu yeah. If you don't know the person that you're marrying, and these are the things that are deal breakers for you, and will be problematic for you, if you've chosen not to have the conversation before you've chosen what you've chosen, you. now you're in the marriage. Yeah. Me, I don't know how to assist married women. <laughs> I can let only, us, let can us only assist you before, before you tie the knot. The knot yes. And that's where all these other things come in. And then if you enter there and the things kwabika, then now you look for other tools and solutions to help yeah. you. But if your problem started even before you entered, I really can't assist you. Can't. Carry your megogo. I have a friend who has, and by the way, let me tell you, those traditional men you're talking about might not even be as traditional as you think. Uh, I have a close, close acquaintance of mine who cooked fried pork, pan fried pork for her husband every morning for two years. Why? Because he mentioned that Once. he really likes pan fried pork in the morning. Koha. Koha. Every day. Every single day. And then she came to me and she was like breaking. You guys, how did you do it? She's a lawyer, like big person, like she's activist, she's well educated. Well, she's doing all the most things. She's providing in the home as well. Like they are balanced partners. Yes. But then there was this one chore that was bothering her because remember to do pan fried pork every day. It takes like two hours of your day. Preparation. In yeah. the morning. Yeah. So I asked her, but let me ask you. She was, uh, she's from the Western Uganda. Her husband was Central Uganda. Mm. And for her, she had that belief. Baganda men. Hey. Baganda men. Oh, oh, you have to do like this, like that. As we are from the West, we were not trained like Baganda women. Mm. So they, they, as if tried to put in even more effort more than effort, they should. Yeah. I went and told her, Madam. You first go and ask him what he wants. What if that's what if that's what he wants, wants? If we can have this conversation, you know what she came back and told me. Hmm. Eh, eh? Okay, yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, I only liked it like once in, over the weekend, maybe. Me, I thought you were cooking because you're the one who liked it. Uh, <laughs> two, two years. Two years. Two years. Two years. Two years. You people. Two years have people conversations are so ourselves. important. In those, in the grill, she was like, he was like, for you, could I just visit with me? I thought you were doing it for you. 
Eh, eh. But that's what you like, so now we have to eat it because that's what you also like. But no, Habi, you told me that you really like pan fried pork. Yeah, but not okay. every day. And you no, no, said that, again. but no, not you people, let me tell day. you that thing <laughs> when that beginning part of the marriage hmm. that you want to. To impress two, two years of but two, two hours. years. Two hours. It happens. It happens. Because I remember even me, I and I'm sure. Please give her a certificate. And packing lunch. <laughs> and he said they give us lunch at work, break, packing snacks, packing that cabox. Oh, car box. the cabox. But yeah. Never know. Like, we we, we, we cover ourselves. No, yeah, we do. He said, I don't care. There is a lot I don't of mind. And and mm. I also like it. Sometimes, actually, I give it out. And I buy the child, yeah. the people, I've actually seen like a, children. well, I don't know if it was I a, a meme. You people, you who pack pack Yes. Food. We eat your we stuff. Lila <laughs> <laughs> is a wife. Then let you. me tell you. Eh? She makes the nicest egg salad sandwiches. Yes. Her husband gives them to me. I love them so much. As Please keep, keep making. Please keep making. <laughs> <laughs> because he buys sombosa. <laughs> oh, yes. Lord. No, the last thing is not true. Because I remember I shared before, it's not, it's not a secret. I used to pack for Brian. Hey, one day, do you better know you? Who's waking up to cook? <laughs> for what? Will you manage? For what? Mm. And I remember feeling like, like there was a time I packed, I used to pack, and the food would come back when I would go in that evening. But now you can feel the oh, bad. Feeling bad. I was like, did I cook bad things? I think it was like, you know what, man, really? But thank God it was in the first week. <laughs> He didn't allow you to go two years. I can imagine Brian allowed you to do something for two years. For two years. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's like, Mukwano, please, it has nothing to do with your food. I can eat your food on Saturday yeah. and on Sunday. Mm. But Monday to Friday. Hapa, <laughs> na. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> After now, then I'm there kissing you with you, putting the car container. He yeah. just put it. He's like, I put it in the back of the car. And, that yeah. is and in the stay. evening. Mawe. Because I have a backpack. Then I'm adding this one. Hey. Now I have to move. You as a woman, you can move with your extra car bag, your laptop yeah. bag, handbag, lunch bag. But me, mm. I'm there. I want to go quickly to a meeting on a border border. Um, my backpack is here. Are they also a lunch bag? No, yeah. not happening. No, and I think I think understanding your like I said, our homes yeah. have different dynamics. If you understand your partner's work schedule, work environment, you will know what to pack and what not to pack. Surely at BOU, they give you guys lunch. That's everything. They give you everything. No, but not to say that those other men don't exist because we also no, 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 with they those do. men who don't who eat don't, our work lunch. Yeah. They want their wives snacks, to pack for them. And them. that's the wife that I want yeah. to speak to. Yeah, I think I we need to speak to her. I think that Pumla says this a lot. Your your mind, I think changing the way you think about stuff can help you evolve in your marriage. We all go in with these expectations, but two years in, three years in, we have changed those expectations and we realize, okay, this is not working. I need yeah. to pivot. Because if I don't pivot, the marriage is going to end. Yeah. Or like, there is no way you cannot change or not evolve. I remember, I've always said that I really enjoyed homemaking. Yeah. But I think for me, the thing that broke me is when my husband expected it. Yeah, I just wanted you to yes. sit there and look pretty and let me serve you at will and at leisure when I feel like it. When he started to expect a cup of tea and it became an expectation, it took the joy out of it. Yeah. I was like, wow. hmm. I was like, no, I, I want to I do this for you. But if I don't do it today, maybe because I'm tired, I've come home from work and then it becomes an issue because you expect a cup of tea. Yeah. You're, you're, you're removing, it's called a labor of love. Yeah, labor of love. I want to do it because I love you, even when it's inconvenient for me. But on the day that I am not able to, and then it becomes a thing because you expect it, I just started ah, to feel like, so ah. Yeah, it can be something. yeah, and then the problem is I got stuck in that, uh, that, that zone. zone. Yes, yeah. of, of just feeling like, mm, I don't feel like making tea. And you know, in the beginning, I actually used to pick out what my husband would wear. You guys. Of course. I loved oh. being a wife. <laughs> The the shirt, the pants. And then I would look at him like, you look fly. Uh -huh. And then he would come and be like, everyone was telling me I look nice. I, I'm like, yeah. Uh -huh. Did you tell them that your wife picked out your clothes? <laughs> you know? And so I think I got stuck in that thing of he's expecting it. Now I feel bad about making tea. I, I, don't, I, don't, want, I don't like the expectation, which is where I met Pumla. Now, in meeting Pumla, she told me things that I had to recalibrate my mind and the way I see, I, the way I see things, which now helped me to go back to saying, this is a thing that I have been doing for my husband because I love, I love him yeah. and I love to do it. 
So let me go back to that Rachel. And now I am back to that Rachel. Which means that even you as a wife, if you're stuck with this man, who is very traditional and is not going to do anything in the house, outside of gender roles, outside of the fact that he's providing, embrace the role. Yeah. Because number one, maybe you're better at it, but manage it. Like you are, I see women as general managers in their house. Your general manager, your administrator. So empower yourself to do that role it doesn't mean you have to break with all the chores unless you like doing it doing yeah. the hard work yeah. you can find help you can hire people to do it for you um yeah. but manage it like be the overseer of your home and just yes. make sure that your home is functioning well i hope that that is like a nice goal where you're like i'm seated back i'm looking at my house yeah. my kids are smart they're they're healthy my husband is happy and take pride in it i i don't know how to no, Mia, I get what you're saying. You get what I'm a saying? a lot to do with mindset change. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. even me, when I come from a point of choice, you people, you know the people you chose. Thank Let's you. Let's stop pretending that the man became a monster in the home. No. <laughs> okay, Let's some they pretending. do, but yeah. You okay, we are, we are talking are about the generalization. Yeah, yeah. There are signs exceptions are to every, every rule, rule. But true. those signs are always there, yeah, and you true. know what you're choosing. Mm. And you have actually, even beforehand, subconsciously calibrated your mind yeah. to take care of that part of him. Oh, yes. yes. You have. Yes. And now when it, the reality actually hits and is doing those things that you had calibrated your mind to take care of, Mm -hmm. and now it becomes uh -huh. oh you expect, you expect me to do it it's a job then you switch then off, you switch off yeah. but yet in hindsight if you ignore all those other things yeah. you actually didn't really have a problem doing you it them right you from really the side. that's yeah. so true that's so, so true um uh, to uh, the woman married to a traditional man you know these things when we come on tv we we bring our spouses and families along with it yeah but I will tell you, I'm married to one of the most traditional, traditional. Yeah. men. Anyone who knows him, yeah. he's a no-nonsense. When I speak of him here, you're like, guys, is that the same that guy the same that we know? <laughs> what I would say to the young wife out mm. there is learn your man, mm. learn to love him right, whilst of course you're enjoying it, but really understand what he needs because traditional men are wired like animals. Mm. It's this plus that. Yeah. Very simple. They are not complicated. They are not complicated. Oh, really? no, they are oh, not. Absolutely. <laughs> true Small by things me. get them so... By the way, they are less, the less, less, they are compli less complicated. Yes. complicated. Yes. I went out of my way. I learned how to make their, their color. Mm. Then, mm. Yes. Then I learned wow. how to drop those, you know, their dialect here and mm. there. I could say, uh, like, sweetheart in mm. Atiso. Small, small things are the ones that get them. You wake up, you get his clothes ready. Mm. Imagine if you woke up, got his clothes ready. On his way out, he could actually stop at the kitchen and wash those dishes. Yeah. Unlike these so-called modern men, yeah. traditional men, those baby cuckoos of this world, mm. <laughs> you will get a traditional man to remove his ancestral skin and spears, and set thing. them aside. Yeah. And wash the dishes. And wash, no. And get dirty with them. And mm. boil water. <laughs> <laughs> boil an egg. A boil an boil egg. egg. Change diapers. <laughs> Change diapers. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. Because yeah, I, I have the most traditional man, but he has cooked, he has boiled water, he has changed diapers, he has washed and fed me when I was sick. But when you see him in all honesty, and someone tells you that Oje can wake up and shower his wife and bathe her and put her in bed and look after the children, you say, but that's impossible. It's impossible, yeah. It is the small things. Yeah. For them, it's never the big stuff. Yeah, so yeah. if you could tap into that, I think that would be amazing. Be Imagine yeah. I too also date traditional men, and I've never had to to tell them anything while we are there. Yeah. But Thank through you. the conversations that we keep having, yes, they do the same things with me. I, yeah. I. The one who leaves the bed last lays the lays bed. The bed and yeah. it has never been a conversation. Baby yeah. Kuku yeah. could be there laying beds and <laughs> cool yes. woman demon. Hey, hey, woman demon. demon. Yeah. And guess what you think about it? Mm. Woman demon is the one that tells you, don't do don't that. Don't do it. it is He's expecting it. Demon, you yes. know. That but was woman, you, woman yes. demon. Woman <laughs> demon in action. <laughs> so once you get that woman demon and you shell, and, side, yeah. and shell then you kakana. There is no man who doesn't love a submissive 
sweet wine. Yeah, he's not So there. get on, especially a traditional one. Yeah. Do oh, that and you can go all over. All over. Even the modern men. Even the modern men. modern men, they have just decided to do it. To put the bin down. Yeah. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. If they had a choice. If they had, if they had a choice. choice. Yeah. <laughs> go, so my I, No, I, I know. <laughs> this question. My mind went haywire, like yeah. immediately I saw it as like, oh, there's so many things that I want to oh, say, really? oh my yeah. god, <laughs> because I think I struggled. Mm. I really struggled with my personality vis-a-vis yeah. -vis the man that I got, mm. who, who fronted a modern man, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. deep, 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 deep. deep. <laughs> He had the he had the cravings and the desire of a traditional man. Like most men. <laughs> and I really struggled. I really struggled. But I want to share with you, I think for me, how I then navigated. And I want to I want to say that this this was helped. This, I was, this was handed over to me in a course. You put these courses, you see them, you minimize them, you think people just want money, what, what, what. But I did a femininity course and it changed my life because I, I needed to know when to switch on my feminine side and when to switch on my masculine side. Because mm -hmm. immediately I enter the house, you people, you see how I shout here? How I quake as here? When I enter the house, hello, I am Mukakamu. <laughs> Even when she's not in the house, she's like, Angie, we can't first spend, we have to first call Brian. I'm like, I am <laughs> Naja, before me, I would be like as if, eh? yes. but like Brian comes into the house and I go and switch on the heater. For him, so he can and yes. I tell him, honey, your water is ready. Yeah. Hey. I just felt like a chill go through my spine. <laughs> I know. I be mukakam. If he dare touches, call me like this. Red day. Red day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there is, I'm telling you, and I'm telling you, it was because of this course. And um, for me, the thing that I like about it was it was based on scripture. Yeah, yeah. of course. Oh. For you. And because of that, God, Brian, I was just about to ask you. Girl, mm. Let me enroll in the feminine. In the feminine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scripture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It really <laughs> is based of course that men need women to be able, women to, should be able to do yeah. 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 it's based on scripture so that Teddy mm. I've had yeah, this, this is one your said, opinion, your opinion. Mm. and you like calling on God when you want to be rich you call God when you want to healing you, you call, call God mm. when you, you call God and when you want to be a wife also call, call God. God don't attend now God Pumula said Manuela yeah. said this one said That's no so nice. you go back to since that is your source yes. then you go back there and it was I looked at, and I'll tell you, I'll share with you, and I, maybe probably I have, but maybe we, are, we have some new subscribers. There's a difference between the Song of Solomon Wife mm -hmm. and the Proverbs 31 Wife. Mm -hmm. If you go and read the Song of Solomon Wife, her breasts are like hills. Her teeth are white like. Her voice is soothing. She is peace. He sleeps in her bosom. Mm. It is the description of who she is mm. is so gentle, so female, mm. so feminine, mm. so soft, so kind, so it, even you when you look at her, just like and if you take the time, you know, to her hair, the way she smells, mm. the way she, she's then you go and look for the problem started one mama. Mm. Ah. Trading. <laughs> what? She wait. She wait. So I and from that course I learned that when when I'm in the home, in the presence of my husband, mm. I'm the song of Solomon. Mm. Wife. Mm. When I get out of that door, like this. Because I like I shared, I struggled because mm. I was really those um I have aggressive. so much energy. Mm. I don't have, I'm so assertive. I'm aggressive. I want what I want. I go for it. No one holds me back. Mm. So I really struggled with how to marry that chick with this man who wanted to be there and say, You have to do what with the credo. Uh -uh. No. Uh -uh. Mm. This. I took time. There was even a point in my life where only Brian told me what to do with the credo. Mm. It was hard. I would hold the I would hold the chairs like this. That I am stressed. 
to think that, that these days he would just say, oh, you did what? Absolutely. No, no, no. I love it. Mm. Good job. Good job. <laughs> and that makes him feel a certain way. I learned the art of doing what you don't oh, want yeah. to do to get what, what you, you want. Because I asked myself, at the end of the day, what do I want? Mm. Yeah. To get it, you mean I just need to do this? Mm. Very good. Yeah, let me do. Oh, let me do. Mm. Let me do. Mm. Let mm. me do. And I did. And now when I get what I want, and people are just like, what do you do? It's, it's not wonderful sex, no? It's just availability. Mm. It is not wonderful food, just availability. Mm. It is not, nothing. Men, just men, say, men don't, men don't need much. a lot. We are yeah, the we're the ones who put that pressure on us. We are the ones who need much more. That's true. true. So why yeah. not do the small things the small for them? Things. And to get gain what? bigger things for, for yourself. Yeah. And, and the peace that comes with it. And yes. and, and, uh, but guess what? But you must be peaceful also inside. Yeah. Yes. That's, That's why these things are peaceful That's outside. Why this thing That's why these things are peaceful inside. But let me share something. Let me share something, though, based on that. There are certain things which it is your responsibility. Like, let's say, for example, you might not feel peaceful. Or you might feel a certain way when your child gets sick at 2 a.m. Yes. They're like, but why? Mm. But when you treat that child, 50 years from now, mm. they'll be the ones treating you. Yeah. True. So certain things where it is your responsibility. responsibility. And I'm, I'm going to share this out of... And the good thing is I've spoken with my husband about this. There was a time when I was barely making love to my husband. Mm. Because my emotion, I felt that he needed to first meet me emotionally because me, I first have him. <laughs> I really quarreled about this yeah. thing. You don't, you don't meet me emotionally, therefore how can I... Yeah. I remember doing this course and my friend Helga telling me, Manuela, you do it. Mm. Do it annoyed. Do it sad. <laughs> mm. Do, do it, it stressed. Yeah. Do it... And I remember telling, oh, there Helga. were times, I remember twice, mm. I cried. But Brian, enjoy. enjoy. It was like wonderful <laughs> sex. I mean, maybe putting about because of one. how uh, hard, maybe no, mm. because of how hard it was. Oh. But to think that after a few months, the the man who had was held mm. with everything, who would be, he would come home. Go. He started to let go. Yeah. He started to let loose. He became mm. happier. Then whatever he wanted, it was just like you want what. Aka. You want what? Yeah. Not because it was great. And I want to say this again. My position is nice. The one I love so much, it doesn't change. Which yes. one is it? Whisper that here. The one, <laughs> one whisper here. Yeah. I you want to keep it that episode. episode. Yeah, you you want missed that. That's episode. why I'm telling you to you whisper here. Yeah. <laughs> but when when that happened, it he it released Brian. And I to be honest, we had a much better my yeah. yeah just by knowing what my role is and wow. when to, when switch, to it switch it on, it on. Wow. and when to switch it off that yeah. is so true there are a lot of women who are waiting for their husbands to do certain things before they can be a certain way and i assure you you are going to wait until you are for old a and really great. long time great. That's humble true. yourself and do those things great. Yeah. and you will come and testify yeah and if you feel that you're not getting peace at all, at all, at all, at all, at all after all this yeah. It's okay. Yes. Doors are open. Doors are open. Don't fear society. Yeah. Doors are open. Yeah. Don't fear. Yeah. Don't be held down yeah. because, because, because. Mm. Yeah. She suffered. After a few months, she got what she, she got. What she yeah. wanted. Are you do. ready to do that for ten years? No. If sure. you are true to yourself and you, me, I don't advocate for divorce. Never, <laughs> never. Doors are open. Ten but years. Pumla. Mm. Your partner, manange enter. It's what, it's the second next best decision you will ever make That's because true. this is a decision for life, and I feel like people don't get this life thing. Yeah. People, life That's is true. long. Yeah. Life is really long. It can it's be long. Short, but it's really it's long. Really it's really long. long. It's really long. long. Oh, when you're unhappy, it's when you're long. Unhappy, even it's a long. weekend. Yes. So that decision, I, I want that even when you're in the hardest of times, you're like, yeah, that's my person. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. my person. That's my mm. person. Yeah. I love. So if nice that's not what, yes. Yeah. It's, nice. It's, nice it's nice to fight for that person. Yeah. 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 And I pray also, and one of the things that I know about the scriptures is that, unfortunately, the Bible says, eh? That men change <laughs> mm -hmm. from their wives. They change when they see their wives. Mm. 
You understood the scripture? I think so. Let me, maybe I should get it from here. Allow me to. Okay. But essentially, it comes from if your husband is an unbeliever and you oh, are a believer. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Your husband will change when he sees you. Your good conduct, you, your good from behavior. Your good mm. In no, nowhere in the Bible okay. does it say that the woman will change from the man's good conduct. It's not no. there. Mm. I haven't yeah. seen it. You understand? <laughs> So, unfortunately, and I feel bad, let me tell you, I, I, this thing, I really struggled as a Christian, and I remember asking God so many questions. You know, one of the curses that God gave us was that we would desire our men mm. as a curse. <laughs> that we desire our men. Yes. Yes. It's like, you, this is a curse. You will desire your man. What a curse. What a curse. He does this, but still you Little love did we him. know. We yeah. Thought, yeah. They're we, like, leave. I so it's true. quite unfortunate, and I, so I really, really struggle so mm. as a Christian and the personality. Yeah, yeah. so true. So I, yeah. and as you said, really love the, the society the, the, the that we are, um, you are so worried about this society. This society is not going to be the same society ten years from now. Yeah. Many people stayed in very unhappy marriages because then society looked down upon it. Coming from your conversation on society and why we should never work with society. You know nowadays society when you show them you are happy marriage, then they then they're like yeah, is it they have really? a problem with they that. have a problem. Yeah. Yeah. They have they have a problem with a happy family. They have a problem with an unhappy family. Mm. Yeah. So for you where do you lie? You understand? So, so what do we do? So we we, 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 can't we win. Be it's like you can't win where it comes to society. Mm. Yeah. So you can't no. win. Yeah. Um <laughs> and, and it's good we've had this conversation. It brings me back to where this all started, you know, when you were bringing us together. I'd ask, what's what's the point of me being here? Mm. You know, because I'd have this thing of this being here was not me mm. but now when we have conversations like this it hits me so hard in the sense that I see people who have started this journey like you guys 10 years ago and already you've gotten to the point that I have at at 20 years mm. of we can be happy doing this yeah. we can you don't have to wait 20 years to get there. So Bump Love is here to start conversations. Yeah. Conversations from the younger ones, conversations from those who have done it. Then in between there, sift and see what works for you. For you. Yeah. And whilst you're at it, come have a conversation. Traditional men also speak. Come have a conversation at the Golden Tulip. The Golden Tulip is a fantastic four-star hotel located in the heart of Kampala. Book a room. Mm. Mm. The way you say Book that. Book a room mm. and make time <laughs> to make the man feel the king that he is. Yeah. With love from Bump Love. <laughs>